I am Dr. Elizabeth Tennant. I am here with uh, Collaborative Nursing Care Department, College of Nursing, and the class that you see behind me is our uh, pharmacology class, Nursing 341, and today they are uh, working through case studies and groups. I have six groups because I have six different case studies that I created uh, related to the material that they're covering today, which is anti-infectives, anti-fungals, anti-protozoans, uh, anything that kills something within the body is basically what we're going to be talking about today. I want them to learn the information in a different way. I want them to be actively engaged and learning, and I want them to dig out and ferret out that information themselves, rather than me just stand up there and be a talking head. I think a lot of times, and for a lot of students, we learn best that which we dig out ourselves. I stay here, I guide, I answer questions, I'm available. We're going to talk through it completely when they go to present, but I really think the initial introduction should be them digging in and finding out the information. And if, in a minute, when you get over there and you look, you're going to see how engaged they are in finding this information out. Oh, I love it. My students, it, um, I, I know the people that are watching this couldn't be here when they walked in, but the first thing they did was <sighs> and sat down and were comfortable and began to play with everything and were so excited to see the chairs could move. And they were, they were already forming in groups before I even got in here as they began to just get in natural groups and begin to talk to people and pull chairs up. And so um, I just really think that works best in this environment. I wish I could do every class over here, but this is not going to work for my larger classrooms. The reason why pharmacology works so well is that there's only 38 students. Let's say if this was my chronic conditions, I have upwards of 50 students, and there's no way to put 50 students in here. I wish we could have a bigger room. I wish we had other spaces where we could divide the students in, because when you get over here and you hear them, this is more talk than when we do it in class. We do it in our large classrooms. There's the long tables, the chairs, and, and, and it's not all about the furniture, but it is about being able to sit across from each other, four people get together, six people get together, and be this far apart versus across the classroom or at the other end of the table. No matter how hard we try to rearrange those, it makes it very difficult. And I think group work and active learning is lessened by that, and I think it is certainly enhanced by being here at the Think Center, which is why I'm so grateful that you let me bring my class here and that we at least try to do at least one every semester so they can really see the advantage of this. I think preparation is everything and I think thinking through how can I um, accomplish what I want. I start out with this is what I want them to know and then I work up case scenarios and activities that lead them down that path and I think that's the, the big part and I think you want to devise it enough where they can do a lot of you're not guiding them, they're doing the information, they're searching for the information. So for me case studies work well that way. But there's other things that could be devised. But I would say it's all about preparation and uh, being aware of how they're going to be able to work, the resources that they have, the computers, the whiteboards. They have all the things to be creative at their fingertips here. But for me, getting ready, um, it did take some time. And um, again, it was all in the preparation and getting them to the final outcome. How can I get them there and what active engaging group activities would work to to reach our outcome. Yeah. It's working. I like being able to write on these little these boards right here. Exactly. They really help like I mean you can't if you like when you just write on a piece of paper you know everybody can't see it but when you write on the on the board everybody can see it. So where you know we're all we, we can all pitch in. I love the space. It's nice. We can all get together and be close and talk and not have to worry about being too loud in class or whatever. It's just kind of open area. Yeah. It's easier to create that. It's like comfortable, you know, you can't turn around in class. Yeah. 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 Just sitting at a straight table where we're all lined up in a classroom is a lot more difficult to, you know, get very close to this stuff like this. It's bright. It's bright. It's happy. It's kind of like you're excited to be in here. It kind of already gets you more awake and ready. So you're not into a bland classroom where you're like, oh, I don't really want to be here. Or the library. Pretty much kind of dull and boring. Hey, it looks fun. It looks fun. also very at first, at first, I didn't think it was going to be useful. Yeah, at first you're like, what? How like, are we going to do this? Like, like all the bright colors, you know, it's just like, oh, you know, we're going to have fun in here, you know, but it's act like it, it helps. Yeah, it really does. Wish it was bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little bigger. But or just bigger. like more. Well, because I feel like a lot of times classes are in here and you can't really come here by yourself whenever you're trying to study. You know what I mean? Like, so if there was just more of it, or more spaces. So we need more things centers. Yes. <laughs> well, when you're all in a line, it's really hard to talk to each other. When you're in a circle, it's easier. And all the resources are, are here, so it's easier yeah. to pull up your laptop, 
write down this. Somebody else is looking at something different so we can all work faster. Mm. A little bit more group oriented. Normally when we're in a group, it's more like you do this part, you do this part, you do this part, then you do this part. And instead we're kind of like we're working, together. working together to get through each part instead of like I'm, normally I would be like you do say like this, I'll do this one, you do this one. Whereas this time we're all doing all of them together. So ongoing communication. Yeah. Plus we have this big nice thing. <laughs>